Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about Amsoil's Synthetic Palmeric Off-Road and Equipment Grease. And here is a shot of the uh, NLGI number one uh, grade of this grease with the blue cap. You can see the NLGI number one designation right there. Now NLGI number one is the lighter or uh, thinner uh, grade of grease and then here is the uh, most popular NLGI number two uh, grade of this grease in the red cap and these are both 15 ounce tubes uh, but they're also available in uh, many other sizes all the way up to uh, you know large kegs so uh, about whatever size you need, uh, this grease is probably going to be available in. And what really makes this grease uh, unique and special is uh, the uh, additives and the, the thickeners that are in it. Uh, first off, this grease is fortified with 5% molly. Uh, and that uh, fortification with molly is what helps this grease meet the uh, caterpillar requirement for pin and bushing uh, applications. Uh, that is a very demanding application uh, and that's a very demanding requirement that Caterpillar has out there for a grease, a specification for a grease uh, and this grease from Amsoil meets and exceeds that uh, Caterpillar pin and bushing uh, lubrication requirement. Uh, the other thing that's different about this grease, a lot of other greases are lithium complex based grease uh, but this grease is a calcium sulfonate complex. So it's got a different uh, composition to it than most of the other greases that are out there, um, which allows it to be a really, really good grease for uh, the most demanding off-road equipment applications. So if you've got bulldozers, scrapers, graders, uh, any type of those heavy-duty off-road equipment applications, where you've got um, uh, joints, pins, bushings, uh, arms, uh, anything like that that require grease that are really open to the elements. I mean, they're constantly being subjected to, uh, you know, dirt and the moisture that's in the dirt and rain and just everything that you can think of throwing at it. Uh, the metals that they are preventing metal to metal contact between are extremely heavy. I mean, you've got mole boards on um, motor graders and, and uh, push arms on dozers uh, and rippers and everything else that just really punish the grease that you put in those joints. Uh, and so it takes a very high quality grease to be able to withstand the punishment uh, that is given to it. And so what this grease is really designed to do is resist that pound out, which is when those pieces of metal push against each other, uh, and there's a, supposed to be a grease barrier in between them, uh, a cheap, uh, low-quality grease will simply get pounded out of that joint, uh, and it will fall on the ground, and it won't be there anymore. Uh, and so then it's not doing its job of lubricating and preventing that metal-to-metal -metal contact. And so all that grease that you pumped into that joint is now laying on the ground somewhere, not doing you anything except you're running over it and covering it up and it's sticking to other stuff and but it's not in the joint where you wanted it to be so it didn't do anything for you uh, except cost you money and and run out of the joint so do yourself a favor do your equipment a favor and buy a better grease that's designed to resist that pound out uh, and it'll stay in that joint longer and so you have your choice then you can either lubricate less often uh, or you can lubricate on the same uh, frequency, you're just going to have to lubricate uh, less volume. You're going to have to put less grease into that joint uh, because the, the grease that you put in there the last service cycle, uh, you know, some of it is still there, unlike that cheap grease that all got pounded out. Uh, so that's really the big advantage here is that you either, you will, you will save money uh, because you're not buying as much grease and the grease that you're putting in there is doing a better job of lubricating. Again, it's available in NLGI-1 in that lighter uh, 
formula and it's also available in NLGI number two which is the most popular uh, you know grease grade uh, and so it's available like I said all different sizes uh, so even though this like in many other Amsoil products even though the initial purchase price may seem more expensive than what you've been paying when you factor in that you won't be replacing it near as often and that it will be doing a better job of protecting the equipment that you're putting it into it will actually become one of the least expensive greases that you can buy in the and when you factor in all those other variables that uh, you really need to because you need to know the total cost of ownership and the total cost of maintenance on your equipment and the initial purchase price of your oils and filters and lubricants uh, are not the total cost uh, you have to know how often you're replacing them, how often you're changing them, and how well they're doing their job. Uh, and this is the best grease that's available on the market for this heavy-duty off-road construction equipment, uh, and it will save you money. So I will post a link uh, or URL right here in the video, uh, and you can uh, copy and paste that into your web browser, and it'll take you right to the AMSOIL website where you can research this uh, product some more and hopefully you will purchase some. Thank you. Uh, if you are going to make a purchase of any AMSOIL products uh, and you're going to buy more than $100 worth of products in a year including Agrand fertilizer and Ultram vitamins and nutritional supplements, uh, please consider becoming a preferred customer. Uh, those preferred customers save around 20 to 25 percent on their purchases from all three lines of AMSOIL uh, and then you can have those products shipped right to your house. Uh, you can add that preferred customer membership to your shopping cart on your very first order uh, either six month trial membership or the one year annual membership uh, and it'll save you money the very first time you use it. So please take a look at that. Also please check us out on Facebook at Synthetic Oil Info as well as we're right here on YouTube at Synthetic Oil Info. We appreciate it if you would like us, like our videos, and like our pages on those uh, social media sites, because by doing so, you allow us to be seen by more people. And then we can help them with their most difficult and challenging oil, lubrication, and filtration problems, just like we're helping you right now. So we appreciate everything you do for us as well. So thank you for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you've learned something, and we'll see you on another video. Have a great day.